Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm gonna teach you how to play this song by DA Games called Brother in Arms. Okay, so here we go. Give you a preview of what you can learn in today's lesson. It's gonna be the awesome chorus section of the song. It goes like this, give you a preview, it goes like this. So yeah, later on in the song, obviously you can make it a bit more epic and stuff, but learn the melody and chords first before you make it like, um... Exactly, okay? So you have to learn the chords and melody first, that's what we're doing in this lesson. So let's get right into it, okay? Let's break it up into parts and learn it, okay? So let me see, how many parts do we break it up? One, uh, two, three, four, about four parts, right? So let's go part by part and learn it out, okay? So first part goes like this, right hand starts on B up here, so middle C is here for reference, go up another octave C, and go up another octave C, and it's the B just right below that C, okay? So it goes B, A, F sharp, B, A, F sharp, A, and then goes A up to D, C sharp, B, A, like that. Okay, that's the right hand for the first part. All right, one more time, it goes B, A, F sharp, B, A, F sharp, A, A up to D, C sharp, B, A, like that. That's the right hand for the first part. Once you get that left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are B minor, which is B, D, F sharp. Okay, and then D major, which is D, F sharp, A. Third chord is E minor, which is E, G, B, fourth chord is G major, which is G, B, D. So with these four chords in mind, so B minor, D major, E minor, and G major, the two hands together goes like this, B and B minor together, together, after B, D major by itself, after A, E minor by itself, D and G major together, like that, that's that, one more time, so it goes like this, so it's together, here, here, together, Moving on to the second part. Second part, right hand continues, goes B, A, F sharp, B, A, F sharp, A, and then goes G, F sharp, E, D. And like that. That's the second part for the right hand. One more time, it goes like this. So it goes B, A, F sharp, B, A, F sharp, A, G, F sharp, E, D. Like that. That's the right hand for the second part. Once you get that left hand, we have the exact same four chords as the first part we just did. So if you recall that, the four chords are B minor, which is B, D, F sharp, D major, D, F sharp, A once again, and E minor, same thing, E, G, B, and G major, same thing, G, B, D, that you learned in the first part. All right, so yeah. So with those four chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this, B and B minor. So the second part goes like this. So it's together. After B, D major by itself. After A, E minor by itself. F sharp and G major together. Like that. That's the second part. One more time, so it goes like this. Together. Here. Here. Together. And that's it. That's the second part. So back to back, the two parts that I've learned so far will be played like this. Check it out. So it goes. Some stuff, all right. So let's move on to the third part now. Third part, right hand continues up to the B twice this time. So B, B, A, F sharp, B, A, F sharp, A, and then down to the E, E, up to A, like that. Okay, just like that. One more time, so it goes like this. So it goes B, B, A, F sharp, B, A, F sharp, A, and then E, E, A, like that. That's the right hand for this third part. Left hand, exact same four chords once again as the first part or the second part, whatever you want. So the four chords, if you recall, is B minor, B, D, F sharp, D major, D, F sharp, A, E minor, which is E, G, B, and G major once again, which is G, B, D. So these four chords you should be very good at already because it's, yeah, it's always repeating pretty much, okay? So yeah, B minor, D major, E minor, and G major. You've done before, okay? So yeah. Two hands together for this third part goes like this. The first B by itself, second B and B minor together. After B, D major by itself. After A, E minor by itself. E and G major together. Like that. One more time, so it goes like this. So it goes together, here, here, together. Like that. 
yes, moving on to the fourth and last part of the section. This fourth part is a little bit different in terms of the right hand and also the chords as well. Okay, so pay attention. Right hand goes G, F sharp, E, E, D, E, F sharp, down to the lower A, B, A, B, A, up to the uh, more than octave stretch, up to the B, A, B, and that's it. One more time, so it goes like this. So it goes G, F sharp, E, E, D, E, F sharp, down to A, B, A, B, A, up to B, A, B, like that. That's the right hand, all right? Left hand finishing off with five chords here. The five chords are two G major chords, which is G, B, D, so two of them. And then the third and fourth chord are both F sharp major, which is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, all black notes, so two times as well. And the fifth chord finishing off with B minor, which is B, D, F sharp. Alright, so with these five chords in mind, so two G major chords, and then two F sharp major chords, and then a B minor chord, the two hands together goes like this. So it goes G and G major together, so it's together. E and G major together. After F sharp, F sharp major by itself. And it goes B and F sharp major together. After A, B minor by itself. Right, comes in. Okay, there's a little bit of clash at the end, but it's awesome like that. Okay, so here we go. So one more time, it goes together. Together, here, together, here, yeah, that's it, okay, so back to back, the four parts would be played like this, check it out, so it just goes, whoops, one more time, so it goes, So yeah, awesome stuff, very catchy song. So what you want to do, like, I guess a lot of DA game song, like, it's pretty intense and big, right? So what you can do off the left hand, you can do like, uh, you can do like a bass note, the like a double octave on the bass note, and then do like a chord or do arpeggios to fill it up and make it bigger, okay? So you can be like, like something like this. Let me see, I'll give you a preview of this, like, improvisation, what I'll just make up to make it bigger. So let me see, okay, something like this. Let me see. Oh, let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the best way to jump in. So, so. Something like that, okay? So it's pretty fun stuff, so a lot of DA games are very intense on this why I, like for my improvisation for this one, it will be more like a uh, bigger, so in terms of uh, the left hand, more bass, so more octave jumps, and um, yeah, and then the right hand, fill it up with the harmonies of those chords, so for example, B on the right hand melody, but the first chord is B minor, just do like, like that, so have the B minor um, double up on the right hand as well, so play both melody and chords at the same time. So yeah, if your hand's big enough to do that, that will be great, because you can just basically, you can actually just play the whole song with your right hand if um, you have, have big enough hands like this. Yeah. Yeah, something like that, okay? But it helps, it makes it thicker in texture because you kind of double up on the uh, harmonic uh, texture and everything. But anyway, pretty awesome stuff. That's how my methods work. Uh, a lot of fun um, if you know how to like uh, use those melody and chords uh, very well and then you can um, put all the improvisations that you learn on top of those and stuff. So that, that's how I teach. So yeah, if you're interested in my methods, go ahead um check out all my other free tutorials on YouTube that I have. I have so many videos on YouTube. So there's like 2,600 something like piano videos for you to enjoy and learn from. So there's a lot of stuff. So check that out. Also, if you want to learn piano from me, check out my methods at bestpianomethod.com. Yeah, linked in the description below to just, I guess, check out all of the other piano methods and teachings that I have. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it as for now. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Remember, hit the subscribe button and notification button to get notified whenever these tutorials come up on the channel. But as for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. 
Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.